Hello, and welcome to Huggins Hospital. Here at Huggins, we value patient and family-centered care. The following is a short video that we have prepared to help you throughout your stay. We thank you for choosing Huggins Hospital, and we wish you a safe and speedy recovery. When you are admitted to Huggins Hospital, your nurse will review your patient information packet with you and your family. In the folder, you will find information about meals, how to order room service, how to access our wireless internet, a personal care item checklist in case there are any personal care products you may need, and informational brochures. We encourage you to participate in your care and ask any questions you may have. Please let us know if you have any communication needs and would benefit from any assistance with hearing, translating, or sight. While you are in the hospital, your care team will include a nurse, a hospitalist, a doctor who cares for patients in the hospital, and their assistants. Based on your care needs, your team may also include physical and or occupational therapist, a speech therapist, respiratory therapist, lab technicians, registered dietitian or nutrition assistant, a pharmacist or pharmacy assistant, and a social worker. Please feel free at any time to ask questions of any member of your care team. Every hospital employee will be wearing an ID badge with their name, photo, and job title. We care about your health. To promote healthy living, Huggins Hospital is a smoke-free campus. If you are a smoker and would like help while you are here, ask your nurse or aide. We can provide you with resources to make your stay more comfortable. As a part of our patient and family-centered care, we encourage you to have visitors. We ask that children be supervised by an adult visitor at all times for their own safety and yours. Each patient room has a couch that pulls out into a bed for overnight stays by a supportive caregiver. As a critical access hospital, the average length of stay is three days. We do recommend that any caregivers get ample rest during this time to better assist or care for you after discharge. In your room, you will have a handheld control with a nurse call button and TV and light controls. You can use your bed rail control to adjust your bed. Your safety is very important to us. If you are in the bathroom and need assistance for any reason, please use the bathroom call button. We are happy to assist you in any way. Always remember, call, don't fall. The whiteboard in your room will have the names of your care team and your care plan. We encourage every patient to actively participate as a partner in their own care. If you have any questions or would like any further information about your care team or care plan, please let your nurse or aide know. To make a local call, dial 8 before the phone number on the telephone in your room. You can provide friends and family with your phone number which is located on your whiteboard. Cell phones are permitted, and we offer complimentary wireless internet access throughout the hospital. If you have any questions about making a phone call or accessing the internet, please ask your nurse for assistance or refer to your patient information packet. We recommend that you send home any valuable personal belongings with a family member. The hospital cannot guarantee the safety of your personal items. It is important for your care team to have a list of all the medications you are currently taking. Please notify your nurse if you have any medications from home with you. Feel free to discuss your medications and any side effects with your health care team. We have pharmacy staff available if you have any questions about your medications or side effects during your stay with us. For our patients, we have room service available. In your patient packet, you will find the room service menu with a four-digit number to call from the phone in your room. If you are on a special diet, you may be limited in what you can order. A nutrition assistant is available to review your diet and menu with you. If you have friends or family members visiting, our Huggins Hospital Cafe is open seven days a week. Refer to your patient information packet for cafe hours. We take pride in a clean environment for our patients. Your room will be cleaned every day. We may clean while you are out of your room. Each time your room is cleaned, the housekeeper will note it on the housekeeping card in your room. 
We recognize that it is important to your healing that we have a calm environment. We will do our best to maintain quiet. If you have any concerns, please ask your nurse. To ensure your well-being, our staff will check on you regularly. If you are asleep, we will not wake you. Please let us know if you have any needs or questions. While you are in the hospital, your vital signs, such as your blood pressure, will be monitored regularly. Your health care needs may require that we wake you during the night to check your vital signs. A lab technician may arrive early to draw blood for testing. Routine blood draws are done at 6 a.m. There are certain tests that require therapeutic monitoring, which are generally on a schedule. More frequent blood work may be required depending on your medical condition. We want you to be as comfortable as possible during your stay in the hospital. Pain is assessed on a scale of zero, indicating no pain, to 10, severe pain. You can participate in your care by helping us assess your pain level and set realistic pain management goals. Infection protection is everybody's job. For your protection, hospital staff will wash their hands or use hand sanitizer first when entering your room. You are welcome to ask any staff member or visitor if they have washed their hands. During your entire stay here, you will wear an ID wristband. As hospital personnel enter your room, you may be asked to verify your name and date of birth. It may seem to you that this is very repetitive, but it is for your own safety. Your wristband includes a barcode that may be scanned by hospital personnel. You may also wear a color alert wristband. The red band indicates that you have an allergy. The yellow band is for falls risk, and the purple band indicates a DNR, or do not resuscitate as per your wishes. When you are in bed for any period of time, you may get dizzy if you get up too quickly. There are also certain medications that may make you feel dizzy when you get up. Your safety and well-being are important to us. Please call the nurse for assistance, and remember, call, don't fall. We have many different services available depending on your needs. We offer physical and occupational therapy, speech-language therapy, respiratory therapy, registered dietitians, and pharmacists. For spiritual needs, there is a chapel or meditation room near the cafe on the first floor of the hospital. Arrangements can also be made with local community clergy to address your spiritual or religious preferences. Our goal is a safe and easy discharge from our hospital. When it is time for you to leave the hospital, we will make every effort to have you discharged by the afternoon. We will work with you and your family regarding an optimal time for your discharge. When you are about to be discharged, consider the convenience of filling your prescriptions at the hospital's pharmacy. We offer competitive prices and accept most insurance plans. As your community hospital, your feedback is important to us. After your stay with us, you will receive a survey in the mail. We hope you will take the time to complete the survey and mail it in the enclosed, self-addressed, stamped envelope. Your answers will be kept confidential. We use an independent survey company, so your completed survey will not come back to the hospital. Please be sure to use the return envelope mailed with the survey. We thank you for choosing Huggins Hospital for your health care needs. Our goal is to build healthy communities here in the Lakes region by offering quality care. We look forward to serving you.